Welcome to this video on loops within loops, nested loops. My name's Andy Wicks and the code for this video was created by Dr. Chris Walshaw, Dr. Kate Finney and Dr. Don Cowell of the University of Greenwich. This is a very simple little program. All it does is demonstrate how nested loops work. Let me show you the program running and then I'll explain what's happening. So here's the program that's run and it says there's no one in room 1 of house 1, no one in room 2 of house 1 and so on down the line. What I'd like you to imagine is that the police are searching for a very dangerous criminal. It's the sort of person who, for example, might teach programming and do it with a really weird sense of humour. Those sort of people need to be caught and punished. The police have heard that in this block of three houses, each of which contains two rooms, that there is one of these deviant people living. So they go in, guns at the ready, truncheons drawn, just to check it out. What they have to do is they have to go into the first house and check the first room. Then they check the second room. Then they go to the second house. There they check the first room and then the second room. And finally they go into the third house check the first room and then check the third room and if nobody's there there's an all clear and people can sleep quietly again knowing that this sort of person isn't in their area. Now let me show you that working here in the code. I'm saying that there are three houses so house is three. I'm saying that each house has two rooms. Now what we need to do is to go through a loop checking that each house and each room in a house is being checked. So first of all I'm going to go through each of the houses. This is a standard for loop. I'm going to create an integer i that I'm going to be using as a counter and I'm going to set it equal to 1. And whilst i is less than or equal to house, so in this case 3, I'm going to do the logic within its loop. Now, within a house, I need to check each of the rooms. So I have this command here, which is also a for loop. Here I'm going to set up a variable called j. I'm going to make it equal to 1 and I'm going to go around this loop whilst j is less than or equal to room. Since room is 2 it'll do it two times. And then I'm going to print out no one in room whatever the room number is of house whatever the house number is. Once I've cleared a house I'm going to do a print line and move on to the next house. So now house 2 gets checked. There we check rooms 1 and 2 in the loop, printing out as we go. Having done house 2 we create a new line and we check for house 3. In house 3 we check both of the rooms printing out, no one in room, another print land, and now because the number of houses is complete and the number of rooms is complete, the program finishes. Let me show you that again. It says no one in room 1 of house 1, no one in room 2 of house 1. So house 1 has now been checked so I do a print lin, and now we can go on to the second house. No one in room 1 of house 2. No one in room 2 of house 2. House 2 is clear, so we can do a print lin, 
and move on to the third house. No one in room 1 of the th house 3. No one in room 2 of house 3. Ah, we can all live quietly. Another Printlin and the build successful. This is a nested loop. And whilst nested loops can be made to sound quite complicated, in practice they're not that bad. If you want to nest things, do so. If you don't, just write out lots and lots of statements. <laughs>